The BBC's Alan Little reporting and staying in the region. Angry scenes in the Egyptian capital Cairo after government workers started painting over revolutionary slogans and graffiti on the walls surrounding the American University at Tahrir Square. Much of the street art honours protesters who died during last year's uprising and subsequent clashes with security forces. The row comes on the eve of the first presidential vote since the ouster of Hosni Mubarak. SBS's Gary Cox is in Cairo. <laughs> Angry and demanding answers. Why paint over the revolution's iconic graffiti? The images along Mohammed Mahmoud Street have become a de facto war memorial. They're viewed by many as a testament to the bravery of those who died opposing the heavy hand of ousted President Hosni Mubarak. Gone forever, a mural of a face depicting military ruler Field Marshal Hussein Tantawi on the one side and Mubarak on the other. In defiance, the artists are attempting to recreate that lost imagery. As you can see, quite a big crowd has gathered here and they're angry. The mood is tense and they appear to be arguing about whether or not they should be painting without permission. It all started when Ahmed Kamal raised the alarm. Much of the graffiti is produced by the Revolutionary Artists Union, a group of young Egyptians who say today's events amount to an attack on freedom of expression. It has been scathing of the Supreme Council of Armed Forces, or SCAF, which has governed Egypt since the revolution. The government of uh, Cairo, they sent uh, people work with them to erase all the drawings here, and we stopped them. And uh, they left, and we will try again to draw. SCAF want to erase all of the revolution marks. This is it. Some Egyptians fear that this week's presidential election will only help SCAF and Field Marshal Tentawi hold on to power. You have his, uh, his man in the president, Ahmed Shafiq. This is his man. Anyone is good, but Ahmed Shafiq, no, very bad. The message may be disappearing from the walls of Cairo, but Egyptians are determined to have their say at the ballot box. In Cairo, Gary Cox, World News Australia.